Hey there, YouTube surfers. So I'm getting down to taking out some more rim joist insulation. And so far, most of it looks pretty good. This is what I took out. So not too bad. <clears throat> Drum roll. I got these two pieces. These are, uh, yeah, pretty bad. And if you take a look, Hopefully I can get the camera up in there. This will explain why. You can see how large that gap is right there on the bottom. There we go. So it's probably a lot of moisture. I never had water in the basement. There's probably a lot of moisture uh, leaking in through there, I'm guessing. Over here as well. Yeah, so I'm going to seal those up really good with caulk and uh, we should be good to go. Luckily, I don't see any, I don't see any rot. That's amazing. So it could just be moisture getting in there. So it might be a good idea if you have a basement to, uh, and you have this kind of insulation, to uh, take a look what's behind it. You might be shocked. You might find a lot of air gaps that need to be sealed up. And this house is only about 18 years old, so. But uh, yeah, for the most part though, most of them are not bad at all. There's some over there. I'd say I maybe mean, found about five bad ones. Uh, so, there you go. Welcome back. I want to do a follow-up video to my rim joist project here. Uh, this is the stuff I used. <laughs> you can see this is a this is an old can. Uh, anyway, I used it to seal around the foam board. I'll show you the foam board I used. Uh, I think I had this in the other video, but this is this is the one and a half inch Pink Panther stuff. It was a four by eight sheet. Uh, I went through one sheet and I have this is the scraps I have left. So I, I actually purchased the two sheets. So I've got a complete sheet that I don't even, uh, not even gonna use, but I guess I overestimated. Anyways, talk a little bit about, I wanna get some temperature readings, but talk a little bit about this stuff. This stuff, yeah, it's very messy. It does expand a lot more than you think. <laughs> uh, and let me grab a let me grab a flashlight here, so I can get a better look. It's my little my little over the neck flashlight. Good for some things, not good for other things. Anyway, that stuff expands a lot, so be careful. I was a first time user of this. Uh, you can see, actually, that's one of the better ones. I must have. See if I can get in there. That's not too terrible. You can see the corners. Uh, but yeah, you spray a little bit in there, and you know it expands when you first spray it, it. It it goes on like this and expands about that much. And you, when it comes out of the can, and you think, oh, it, it makes you think like you really got to spray a lot of stuff in there, right? It's because you're trying to fill an inch and a half is. They actually could make two inch stuff, which is crazy, but which a lot of people use, but I went with one, one and a half inch. And you got this against your joist up there and you spray. I had a tendency to, well, I got to fill that whole space, right? All the way back. Well, I don't think you need to when you spray it because it expands a lot and makes quite a mess. As you can see like these, most of these I oversprayed. Um, <laughs> you can see all that dripping. Now you're probably wondering, wow, you really missed there. But this stuff keeps oozing. Like after you let off the trigger, it just keeps oozing out of the out of the nozzle. And then you're up on a step ladder, and you're trying to not fall. And then it, before you know it, the nozzle has touched everything, and it's dripping everywhere and making a big mess. So, um, so just be aware of that. I'm not gonna, for my project, I'm not overly worried about it because I'm 
probably just gonna paint over those anyway. I'm probably gonna have to. <laughs> um, so you can see some I did better than others. These are areas where I was like, oh man, I missed the mark. I need to squirt more stuff in there. And then look what happens. So, so my point is just, well, I guess I, I should have turned the writing around on that one. I just realized that. The point is um, <clears throat> don't overspray it because it does expand for, for quite a, for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so after you uh, spray it. Um, so what, what else did I want to show? So yeah, let's get back to the temperature readings now. The whole point of this project. So I got my little my 60 degree. Those are pretty consistent walls, 58 degrees. Temperature outside today is about 30. So when I did the first video, I think this will be pretty comparable because it was it was uh, about 35 out, so pretty close. So let's let's start back here. So let's go back to the south facing wall. Uh, and here's some of the areas you can see I got a little crazy with the spray foam again. <laughs> Oh well, live and learn. So we got 64 degrees. That's pretty warm. Um, I don't remember. I think the other readings were 62. I have to go. You'd have to go back and watch my video. But this is a south facing wall again. 64. There's going to be some areas where I just could not get the spray can up in there, so I just had to put the old insulation back in. But I only had you know, maybe 10% of the areas I had to do that with. Now this is where the heat duct is, so I would expect it to be warmer, of course. So that's 67, the one right next to it. Must be some heat trickling into there, 66. 68. This is Fahrenheit, by the way, for those of you on the Celsius scale. See, that's about a heat duct too. In here, <laughs> There's no way I'm getting in there. Maybe I can do some spray foam around here to seal that a little bit better. I might do that. Um, back here. So now this is the, uh, this would be the east, sorry, west facing wall, west facing wall, 63, 62, 60, this is again closer to the heat duct, so it's probably a little bit warmer. 60, 61, 62. 62. So I say I'm getting more consistent and we got a window right here. While I'm going along here, probably gonna fill, remove that, fill that with expanding foam. I've got uh, the three inch big gap filler stuff. So I'm sure that'll make a nice lovely mess like it has for the rim joist. Uh, I got another gap here. I might put some, I might cut a piece of foam board and and uh, go around that with it. I also thought about up here above these, where the two wood pieces come together. I thought I did caulk on the other one, which I'll show you if I remember. Uh, I think it's sealed though. I'm getting 63. If I put it right in the crevice, it's like the same temperature. Actually, no, oh, sorry. Can you even see that on the 64? There we go. So I think it might be sealed from whatever, you can see the, some of the glue oozing out there. Probably for the construction of he adhesive when they put the floor on. So I don't know if I'm really getting any leaks up there. Um, anyway, moving along, let's go around. Do, 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 do. Okay, here's by the joist, still on the west. East, if I can get my east and west correct. West facing wall, 64. Now this is interesting. What is the deal? So this is, sorry about the camera work. Going back, switching hands here. This is the, the cavity that was colder um, for my first video quite a bit. And it's still, let's see, it still seems like, why is that so cold? I don't know, I sealed that off. It's way better than it was. I think it was like 58, now it's 62. Man, again, let me, let me go up in there and bring it back down. 64, see that? It's interesting. 
why there's so much heat there. Oh, sorry, let me do that again. Bring it down, 63. Eh, if it's in, it's, I guess it's within one degree. So I definitely made a difference uh, up here. I got some, I got a pipe going outside, 61. 61 and then over here now I'm getting by another window here I haven't sealed this one yet I'm probably gonna that's what I was talking about on the other window I'm gonna cut a piece and foam around that again then <laughs> I'm sure that'll look amazing uh, I did oh yeah this is the other part I'm about I did put a bead of caulk up here I had some extra so why not uh, just to help keep anything out. I think it's always a good idea to to caulk if you can. Uh, yeah, so let's see. So the temperature is 60. It's going to be colder around the window. Let me go. I'm sorry, switching hands again. Let's do this. Made an awesome mess in there. That one's really, like, if I back up, it's so far deep in there, like you're not really gonna notice it, I hope. That one is 60. 61, getting closer to the north side. 61. Here's all the wires. That's an electrical box. found uh I put some spray foam around that there's a huge gap in the wall so I'm sure that'll help I'm not sure if I should spray foam maybe leave a comment the wires going up into the floor it kind of makes sense that maybe those should be sealed too because they're probably getting loss of heat or cold uh through there but it's just going into the house so I don't know going around again another area where I really can't put foam board in some of these other areas again there's really just no room I'm probably gonna have to pack insulation back in there of course there's heat ducts that's gonna be set hot and this one I was able to get in there 74 another heat duct situation 67 this is the main water coming into the house uh, 66 degrees so now this is all the north side of the house, <clears throat> but there is a porch up above. So I'm sure that that seals it off. This isn't, you know, exposed to the weather directly. So you can see 64, pretty consistent, 63, I don't know, 63, 66. We're getting close to the heat duct, which is right here. That's why. Uh, I ended up packing another area. I put some, had to put the insulation, bad insulation back in there. And 68. Got some stuff I gotta move around here. Da, 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 da. All right. Seventy. Now we're getting closer to the stairway. Seventy-one. Anyway, you get the idea. I think, it, I think mission accomplished. It seemed to do a pretty good job. It is messy looking. <clears throat> uh, but again, from a distance, I mean, it's way up in there. I don't think you're really going to pay attention to it. Maybe this north side. I'm planning on painting the ceiling, so maybe I'll just spray over that, and it'll be all good and fine. And again, thanks for watching. I know it's kind of a long video, but... Uh, is a good project just know that you're not going to be able to get this stuff you're not going to be able to do this in every joy every uh rim joist like i showed you're gonna have situations where you're just gonna have to unfortunately pack this stuff back in but heck if you can get 80 to 90 percent of them done with foam board and and this that's better than nothing right better than it was before so nothing in life is 100 percent Anyway, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment and a like if you like this video. And we'll talk later. Bye-bye.